two most important days in anyone's life is number one, the day that you're born, and number two, the day that you discover why you were born. And I believe that I was born to be a public servant. Period. This is my first day, so be gentle with me. My name is Herb Wesson, and I am the president of the Los Angeles City Council. As long as I breathe, I'm going to always try to help others. I am an ordinary person who's had an opportunity to do some extraordinary jobs. Major changes are on the horizon for Los Angeles City Council President Herb Wesson. After eight years of leading the council, he's decided to step away from the presidency. We sat down with Wesson for a look back at some of the key legislation passed during his tenure and his legacy as the council's first African-American president. Council President Wesson, thank you so much for joining us. So you've led the city council for eight years. What have been some of the most memorable moments? Well, first of all, let me say that eight years seems like it was only yesterday, and it's probably the biggest honor uh, that I've ever had in my life to serve as the quarterback of the Los Angeles City Council. I'd like to take uh, this moment as the last moment that I will address you. We have been through a lot together we've seen relationships blossom. And what I want to do is just give a huge thank you to all of the people that make this possible. My family has made numerous sacrifices and I love them for that because they afforded me the opportunity to do what I love. When one of my sons was 12 years old, and I was off to an event, he looked me in my eyes and said, Dad, you spend more time with other people's kids than you spend with us. I almost cried a river right then, but it was my calling, my reason for living to try to help others. been very open. Homelessness touches home with you. Can you tell us a little bit about that? My life has been a wonderful life, but it's still messy. I am no different from anyone else. And when people found out that my son was on the streets, they want to talk about their aunt, or they want to talk about their nephew, or they want to talk about their daughter. It's important for everybody to know that homelessness can strike anyone. We have a great family and a loving family and he was afforded the opportunity to do things that a lot of children would, would envy, but that did not spare him from suffering from depression. It did not spare him from being bipolar. It did not spare him for unfortunately becoming addicted to crack cocaine. And when people begin to realize that this affects all of us, I think it helps build the momentum necessary to really focus on this as the crisis, the challenge of the day. This council has proven that we shy away from no issue. We have proven that we can fly. We have proven that we can come together and make anything possible. I'm proud that this council decided to not just work on the easy things, that we would take on the hard issues, issues where people didn't think that we would succeed. We felt that when we were together, that we could do anything. And that's why when President Obama called on the states to take up the charge to raise the minimum wage, that we didn't wait on the state. We were the largest city in this country to do that. While you have states and cities throughout the nation that are doing everything that they can to suppress voter turnout, 
this city acted to do just the opposite. Criminal justice reform, we were one of the first major cities to ban the box. The box that you'd have to check out that indicated that you had some form of a criminal record. The winds in this country blow from the west to the east. People in different cities throughout this country look to Los Angeles for leadership. And I think that's LA. We are a big city. We do big stuff. That's how we roll. We set the tone. Another key issue in the city and the nation is immigration. From this day forward, a new vision will govern our land. From this day forward, it's going to be only America first. At this point in time in our history, it is time for us to not forget that we are the United States of America, not the divided States of America. What we want to do in the city of Los Angeles is protect all of our residents. And it's more important to a number of us. What kind of neighbor are you going to be? What kind of American citizen are your children going to be? Not what kind of documents you happen to have in your back pocket. What makes us great is our diversity. We are LA. We hope that our lifestyle is contagious and sweeps throughout this nation. You mentioned President Obama. How did the designation of Obama Boulevard come about? There's a section of the city in the district that I happen to represent where then United States Senator Barack Obama came to officially kick off his presidential campaign in California. Rancho Sienica Park, which was located on Rodeo Road. Imagine what it would be like if we took this road and changed the name to President Barack Obama Boulevard. this big name-changing ceremony, which drew almost 27,000 people. L.A. loves Barack Obama, and Barack Obama loves L.A. to have the first black man to be elected president of the Los Angeles City Council create a street for the first African-American president of the United States of America. That brings me joy. Someone else the city has recognized is Nipsey Hussle with Nipsey Hussle Square. Why was that important for the council? This young fellow is talented, Oh, Lord, was he very talented. But I think that, that he represents what can happen when an individual makes a choice to redeem his life and to try to give back to the community from whence he came. Every time you take a step up the ladder of success, you should stop, turn around, and try to bring someone up with you. You have broken down a lot of barriers. Growing up in Cleveland, Ohio, did you ever imagine any of this was possible? My dad had maybe an eighth grade education. I was supposed to wind up working on some assembly line, maybe at his side, which would have been a good life. But the Lord leads you in different directions, and never did I go to sleep as a kid imagining and one day I would be the president of the Los Angeles City Council.